hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another uh, stash dive spending freeze video. Uh, I apologize for the bells in the background. It's going to stop any second. I did actually start recording this video and then had to stop midway because they were so loud. And <laughs> now I'm starting again. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning here. Uh, all of the windows are open and I'm very, very close to our little downtown. I live in sort of the old quarters, the old quarter um, uh, of my little town. So there we go. And they're done. So last week, if you recall, um, I brought you along with me on a little bit of a rabbit trail where I went into my scrap box. I went into one of those lovely plastic containers that I had stored away some stickers and chipboard forever and ever into my six by six paper pads and put together a little kit of long forgotten, neglected um, little beauties and treasures, mainly with the Bow Bunny, um, was it Saturday Market? Uh, Bo Bunny, hang on, let's see, we have it here, uh, Weekend Market, not Saturday Market, Weekend Market, and I said, well, there you go, I'm going to go away, and this was the photo that sort of sent me, that together with uh, one of Christie's video that sent me down that little rabbit trail, so uh, <clears throat> I will link that video below in case you missed it, or you can just pop on in over to the um, playlist and you will see that video so that you can catch up. So I had gathered about four six by six papers that I found went really, really well with this photo. Then I went into my stash and got some cardstock out to complement this little kit, a very light craft. It's a Stampin' Up, I think they call it Crumb Cake. This is also a Stampin' Up, maybe Bravo Burgundy. It's a, it's a lovely sort of red wine color to add to my kit. Now, my original thought was to do this directly on the craft paper. When I put these lovely papers on it, I found it just all sort of blended in and melted in, all these papers melted into one another. White was too stark. Uh, this is almost sepia tones. It's a very, so it's perfect for this photo. So I went in and I got a very vanilla cardstock out. Uh, so I cut it down a little bit, I distressed all the edges, and then I went to get some uh, brown ink to ink all the edges, excuse me, to ink all the edges. Then I put this sort of in the middle, and I found that it was still uh, a little stark, plus I had sort of messed up a little bit and stained my paper a bit, so I said, okay, well, if we're going to do that, we might as well do it even more. So I went in and I got a Tim Holtz uh, stencil, a pasties um, from Shimmers Paints. And I just put three little spots through that stencil, very haphazardly, uh, not trying to be, you know, filling in everything complete, just so that I would have a little bit of an area that would frame, I guess, is probably the wrong word, but that would give a little bit of definition and contrast to the papers. So I got that down and I was then a lot happier. I matted my photo in this sort of wine color, which I found makes it uh, stand out. Then I cut uh, a piece of this very vanilla paper from the middle, distressed it, inked it, and put that behind the photo. And that way I felt that Everything now had its place and everything sort of stood out and didn't um, blend or fade into a background anywhere. So then I cut the six by six papers into some different size and length strips, put them along my middle, the sort of golden with the navyish blue here. Um, I just put a strip along here, which I, I did a fishtail banner um, and put that along. And then I felt that I had, at this point, I felt that I had my basic design. And then, as is true to me, I go look for holes, 
areas that I find look a little unfinished and I start adding bits. I went into the sticker sheet, so I used um, the sticker sheet from the Bow Bunny Weekend Market and I also used the sticker sheet here from October afternoon. Um, I use this little sticker here, which I just went in to add a little bit, but you'll see this was an, this was an afterthought because once I put this down, as is always the case I find with either white or very vanilla cardstock, I find the corners need to be filled and there needs to be something that brings you into the photo, brings you through the photo. So finishing my little corners, and this is a nod to my lovely friend, Helen. There you go, Helen my little corners are filled in. I use just a few little strips and then I have this little sticker here which I added to give just a little bit of fun interest and then I had bits of it left so I tucked it under here and tucked it there. And then I still have a little bit of that left actually which I think can go beautifully maybe on a tag that I'll make with some of the some of the scraps. Um, then I went on to the Bow Bunny sticker sheet and I found this. The colors were perfect. They fit there. I love adding a little something where papers overlap. So I put this little sticker there. The colors are perfect. Panko syrup has nothing whatsoever to do with the photo. I don't know what panko syrup is, um, if it even exists. But the colors, the feel, um, the sort of old style speakeasy, uh, feel matches perfectly and then I found that I had a very quite large and awkward gap here with some harsh corners because I had taken these two bits from this sticker sheet they were kind of ripped and, and tucked so I was only able to take uh, part of it so that's another reason we have to use our stuff, although all of this I find is still in very, very good quality. Some of these border uh, stickers, not so much. Tucked those in, took another little sticker, round sticker here, cut it in two to just round off these little corners. And then that left a very awkward gap here where there was a little bit of white space. Some of the stenciling, but I think the stenciling, I should have made it go down maybe a little bit further. So I thought, well, I have to fill this in somehow. So I went into my scrap bowl. I found um, a Heidi Swap frame. I think this is one of the mink frames. I don't have a mink machine, don't have any foil. So I just use them the way they are, craft and very dark navy. I took the end part, which was meant, so it was sort of like a Polaroid frame, tucked it in here. Then of course, once I had done that, I had the other sides of the frame left and I found that sort of didn't have anything elsewhere. Uh, my corners were already filled. So I just took the very narrow strips of those and tucked them here, um, which I found just worked perfectly. Gave me a little bit of a triangle of that craft and navy uh, and finished it off and worked perfectly. and made me use that entire frame and not waste any of it. So got that down. Then I had an even more awkward <laughs> little hole here. So I just took a couple of the papers, made a couple of little banners, very narrow banners, tucked them in here since I had a banner over on this side. This color cast design wood veneer that was in one of my discovery kits. Very, very thin, nice wood veneer. I inked it up. Um, it has a geotag, which works perfectly. Uh, then I added another little, since I had two here, I added another little fishtail banner over there. And they're not quite opposite, which I like. So they're a little bit offset, which I find is nice. I don't like things that are too, too uh, symmetrical all the time. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to go into the chipboard because there were some lovely little circles here that would just be fun to fill in and there were different sizes and then I could go in and fill in with my Nuvo drops. Let me tell you, chipboard people in those days used to definitely stick, used to stick because I really got um, some of them out and I put this one here first 
And then I decided that I really didn't want it there, but there was no, there was no getting it off. So there it stayed. And I added a couple more to complete to, and to finish this gap here. Uh, this was from the sticker sheet. These were two, this was sort of a, a border um, sticker that was sort of stuck there. Uh, and I couldn't really use it as a sticker. You see, it's sort of stuck there. So it ripped and tore. But you see, it makes for fun little dots. So I just inked up the edges so that the little ripped areas wouldn't show as much. Popped those in. Uh, and then I felt that I really had a nice full layout. No more little awkward spaces. Um, my original intent here when I got this little northern sticker down was to put Northern Speakeasy. But since I had this little guy that I couldn't move, my Speakeasy wouldn't fit no matter which letters uh, I used. So I just did hashtag Speakeasy, hashtag Peaky Blinders, and these little spots here that sort of uh, fit in perfectly. And then I added some Nuvo Drops here to finish it off and not make it awkward. Some Nuvo Drops over here and here and in all those little gaps and I use three different nouveau drops chocolate fondue midnight blue and butter cream caramel or caramel butter something like that um, which is sort of a very lovely pale and it's got a little bit of a pearlized finish um, on there so that one is a brand new one and I if you see here it's sort of made a little bit more of a peak but I think that's more user error than it is uh, because I do have other pearl ones and and they work perfectly and they they make perfect 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 dots so there you go I love this layout I think it fits that photo I love the feel I think this should be in a shadow box I hope uh, my nephew loves it as much as I do I could see this on a wall Maybe even in this little taberna kind of thing. But I love it. So, I'm so happy I got this little kit out. Now I'm going to go play and maybe get some embellishments made up. Some card bases. Maybe even another layout. So, do you have some forgotten, um, loved, and neglected supplies that you haven't looked at or used in a very long time? Let me know down below. Better yet, dig them out, make a layout, make a card, make some embellishments, share, uh, tag me on Instagram, put it in the Mercy Tiara Facebook group uh, or the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group. Uh, link me to your video. And I will be back soon with another um, Stash Dive Spending Freeze video. Thanks for being here. Bye. <laughs>